Let me ask you an unfair question and you can say, Abdullah, I don't want to answer it. Sure. You say your, your objective is to influence government. Yeah. The ANC gets 47, you get four and a half. The coalition of the willing say we can't go in. The ANC comes to you and says, Baba, we'll give you a minister of tourism, deputy minister <laughs> there, and maybe uh, uh, MEC position the Eastern Cape. What, what will you do? And you can say, look, I, I, I'm not going to answer that. Okay, let's first co correct your, your, stat your statistical premise. They're not going to get 47%. They, <laughs> they are going to get less. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to reveal too much, but uh, the scale of, of our strategy is, is mind-boggling. Okay. And, and, and if it comes together, you will see really serious change. Let me say this overall. We have already knitted a coalition together that, that, that is based on the understanding that in South Africa you win politically not by putting up a gazebo and placing TV ads, but by infiltrating social power structures and networks, which is where people spend most of their time. Yeah, yeah. I won't say who those, some of those organizations are at the convention and they are massive, Sure. right? Sure. So that's the, that's the first thing. The, the second thing is next year's election is a turnout election. Yes. We have some tricks up our sleeves with multiple partners of ours to get that done. But to your point, it's less about the portfolios, by the way. I think it's, it's about the, whichever the political parties are, it's about the agenda, the legislative agenda and the agenda of government and the quality of the leadership that goes on there and certain non-negotiable things. So let me give you an example. I'm told that a, you know, if, if, for instance, going into a coalition means, uh, let's say with the ANC, that you've got to accept the criminal networks that operate within the leadership structures and look the other way, then the answer is no. 